they have lots of blood vessels and capillaries in their ears. They send all their blood to their ears. They open those ears out and then they lose all their heat. Paleontology curator Thomas Adams talks mammoth ears at the unveiling of the Witties Discover the Ice Age exhibit, a tour that proves the true Ice Age is as strange as fiction. Dire wolves are real! Snoop Dogg was right! If you imagine the Serengeti here in, in, in South Texas, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about prehistoric elephants. We're talking about uh, giant cave lions. We're talking about cave bears. We're talking about saber-toothed tigers. It's very much a wild time here in Texas. Thomas attributes most of that wild time to the evolution of megafauna, giant beasts that were able to survive by basically growing too big to freeze. We think it has to do with adapting to a change in the climate. As things got colder up north, these animals got larger. They started to develop a lot more fur to help develop in that cold climates. Which resulted in some pretty weird creatures. So now you guys are just messing with us. Oh, absolutely not. There were giant beavers. Imagine a beaver the size of a black bear. While the animatronic giant beaver seems like something out of a five-year-old's Chuck E. Cheese-induced nightmare, Thomas says the chance to see an intact woolly mammoth skeleton is a dream come true for paleontology buffs. It gives you a real real sense of size of, of this animal. And of course, it's animals like this that would have been here in Texas, roaming around these plains, interacting with saber-toothed cats. And so it's really kind of exciting to think about large mammals like this here in Texas. What he said. If you want to experience all the woe moments, you can find out more by following me on Twitter at Streets Corner or at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. Standing next to a really impressed animatronic Irish elk, and who'd thought I'd ever be able to say that? JT Street, Fox News at 9.